Yes, hi, Susie and Chris. Firefighters here at Station 150 tell me it's quiet right now, but they know that a wildfire could pop up at any minute, so they are ready to go, especially considering the weather and conditions. It's very hot, as you can probably see. My hair blowing in the wind. It's also windy, so it is really ripe for fire conditions. They say they've already seen some fires early this year, so they are expecting a tough wildfire season. These are two of the largest firefighting helicopters in the world. And starting Tuesday, fire departments in Orange, Ventura, and LA counties will be able to use them to battle wildfires as temperatures spike. With predictions of dire wildfires in the coming months, the Quick Reaction Force or QRF program was formed. SoCal Edison provided $18 million to fund what's called the Quick Response Force Program, a multi agency team that will be deployed to fight wildfires all across Southern California. They'll have this Chinook CH 47 heli tanker that can carry up to 3,000 gallons of fire retardant or water. And the Sikorsky S61, which has a 1,000 gallon capacity. For the first time in history, dropping large volumes of fire retardant at night will be possible. No longer will retardant drops be limited to daylight operations. This is the future of aerial firefighting. And firefighters across Southern California are gearing up for the searing heat. We're certainly seeing the heat growing all throughout this week. It's going to be hotter and hotter each day. We have some winds today, and so the fire hazard's way up. We're just trying to think ahead and be prepared. Fire officials say they have cleared a lot of brush and are hoping residents have already done the same around their property as well. Right now, everybody should have their brush cleared. It's June 15th and you're late. You need to get that done. Health officials are also reminding people to be safe, stay hydrated, avoid going out in peak hours, wear lightweight, light colored clothes, a hat, or carry an umbrella, and apply sunscreen. Now we got some drinks, some ice. Um, a little bit of truly, some Starbucks, you know, definitely getting ready for the sun, getting ready for this weather. Now, if you haven't cleared your brush yet, officials say don't do it like when it's hot right now. Wait to do it until the morning because uh, mowing or weed whipping could also start fires. And just as you're going about your day, health officials reminding people to stay hydrated. Remember the basics so that you can keep yourself safe. Live in Canyon Country, Hermela Aragawi, KCAL 9 News. And don't forget the sunscreen. Yeah, that's right. Hermela, thank you so much. So the big question, how high?